Welcome viewers, in this video we will see the phaser diagram of loaded alternator for a leading power factor, leading power factor load. Subscribe this channel for more videos and notification, soft copy of this material available in the drive, the link is given in the description box. Now we will go to the topic, for a loaded alternator we have to draw the phaser diagram for the leading power factor load. So before going to that phaser diagram we will see the equivalent circuit and voltage equation of a alternator so that we are able to draw the phaser diagram now we will see the equivalent circuit of alternator so this is the equivalent circuit of a alternator so this is the E phase voltage generator in the alternator V phase is the voltage available at the low terminal so the voltage generated in alternator is available with the loaded and some of the voltage is dropped not entire voltage is not available at the load end after drop in the armature resistance and reactant remaining will be available so E phase is the sum of voltage drop across the re resistance and reactance of armature and V phase right so this XAR and XL can be XL is nothing but leakage reactance XAR is the armature reaction reactance. These two can be combined together. So that that is called a XS synchronous reactance. Then the reactance and uh, resistance can be added together so that there will be synchronous impedance. Right. So that we will see the diagram. So XL and XAR is combined together become XS synchronous reactance. XS and RA. XS and X, XS and RA these two are combined that become ZS synchronous impedance so our aim is to in the phaser diagram our aim is to find the the E phase voltage generated is nothing but vector sum of drop and V, v phase E phase is the vector sum of drop across the armature reactance and V phase that is our main aim to prove in the phaser diagram. Now we will see the voltage equation. So this is the voltage equation so that the EMF generator in alternator is not available completely at the load due to drop across RA and XS. So that E phase is the sum of V phase plus IA RA plus IA XS. This is the generated EMF. This is the EMF available at the load resistive drop armature resistance drop and reactance drop so these RA plus XS can be written as ZS so IA ZS so E phase is the vector sum of V phase and IA ZS so in phaser diagram we are going to prove this equation the generated EMF equal to EMF available at the load terminal plus drop in the armature, armature circuit so based on this circuit now we will go to the phaser diagram. Now we will see the phaser diagram. So in this phaser diagram, this phaser diagram is drawn by taking V phase as a reference. OA equal to V phase. So this is the OA. Voltage at the load terminal V phase is taken as reference. So our aim is to find the E phase is the EMF generated at the at the alternator is the vector sum of V phase and IA ZS synchronous impedance voltage available at the load terminal plus drop equal to voltage generated in the alternator that is our aim E phase is the vector sum of V phase and IA ZS this IA ZS is the vector sum of IA RA armature resistant drop and IA XS armature reactance drop vector sum of these two is nothing but IA ZS so this triangle is extended this C is extended to D O is extended to E so that we have the triangle O D C this triangle is extended right so this this is the current IA so this is a leading so this is the leading power factor current is leading with the voltage this V phase is also 
divided into two components that is V phase cos pi horizontal component and V phase sin pi vertical component. So the V phase is the vector sum of V phase cos pi and V phase sin pi. This E D or D E this portion is nothing but equivalent to A B that is I A R A. So this portion is I A R A. Similarly this E A is equivalent to D B both are parallel same. So the value of D B is nothing but value of A E that is V phase sin pi. This is the V phase sin pi. So finally we are going to consider this triangle O D C this triangle. So in that O C is E phase. This O D is divided into O E plus E D. O E is nothing but V phase cos pi. E D is nothing but I A R A. And this portion D C that is written you are writing the both B D minus B C. From B D if we subtract B C we will get D C. So this entire term is nothing but V phase sin pi. This portion is I A X S. So accordingly we can able to find the V phase. The calculation is available separately at the time you can see that. So from the diagram I am explaining this E phase is the vector sum of this O C square equal to O D square plus D C square. This O D square is written as O E plus E D square. This D C square is written as D B minus B C square. From D B if we subtract B C we will get D C. From that we are able to find the able to find the E phase. Now we will see the description what we discussed the description is available. Capacitive load is connected so the current I A leads the V phase by an angle pi. So current is leading. I A R A is in phase with the I A. A B equal to I A. I A X S is at 90 degree to I A R A. That is B C equal to I A X S. Now we will see that. See this I A R A is in phase with the I A. Both are parallel line. But this I S X S is perpendicular 90 degree. So I A R A in phase with the current. I A X S at 90 degree with the current. IARA is AB, IAX is BC. So that is given in the description. So in phase AB is IARA that is 90 degree IAX BC. So IA is at S is the vector sum of IARA and IAX. Vector sum of these two is nothing but IA is at S that is given by AC. Now the triangle is extended what we discuss ODC by extending BC to D and O so that we are getting the triangle. So DE equal to AB equal to IRA what we discussed in the diagram. AE equal to BD that is equal to V phase sin pi. OE is V phase cos pi. Now we will go to the vector sum. Our aim is to find the E phase. So what we discussed from the triangle ODC O C square equal to O D square plus C D square. The triangle what we extended from that we are writing this. O C square equal to this O D is written as O E plus E D square. C D is written as B D. From B D if we subtract B C we will get C D. So here it is subtracting. So O E is nothing but V phase cos pi. Just now we discussed. E D is nothing but I A R A. Right. ED is nothing but IA or A. ED equal to AE both are AB both are same. BD is nothing but V phase sin pi. PC is IA XS. So this all this term we already discussed. What is OE? What is ED? What is BC? What is BD? What is BC? That all the values are substituted. So OC. OC nothing but E phase. OC is nothing but the E phase. So E phase square equal to V phase cos pi plus IA RA the whole square plus V phase sin pi minus IA X the whole square. 
so the taking square root on both the sides so that e phase equal to square root of v phase cos phi plus i a or a the whole square plus v phase sin phi minus i a x is the whole square so from the triangle from this phasor diagram from the triangle o b c we got the voltage generated in the emf so in this video we discuss about the phasor diagram of loaded alternator for the leading power factor first we discuss the equivalent circuit followed by the voltage voltage equation so the generated emf e phase equal to vector sum of voltage available at the load terminal v phase plus reactance drop from plus impedance drop ia is at s so that is our final aim to find then from the phasor diagram it is leading power factor that is capacitive load is connected accordingly phasor diagram is drawn then it is extended from the triangle we are able to calculate the expression for v phase subscribe the channel for more videos and notification soft copy of this material available in the drive the link is given in the description box thank you for listening all the best for your examination